Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. All right, first off, I'm sure there's about a billion CA versus wood glue videos out there, and mine is by no means gonna be one of the best ones. But anyways, I just wanted to glue some stuff up and shear it apart with my own hands to really get a sense of how good this stuff is, because I have been using the CA glue a fair bit these days, but I do wonder, so how good is it gonna be long term? Anyways, without further ado, here is the video. Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today we are going to test out cyanoacrylate glue versus wood glue. Now, this is going to be purely anecdotal based on me tearing these apart tomorrow and telling you how well they bonded. Cyanoacrylate has become really popular. I have right here the Starbond brand. You guys can find this in the description below if you're looking for it. But we're going to glue up a bunch of miters, both out of MDF and out of pine. And we've got, you know, like casing miters and like basing, basing, base type, base board type miters. And we're going to glue them all up with both glues and try and rip them apart tomorrow. Basically, I already said that. So let's get started. All right. So for the wood glue ones, what I am doing is I've got it taped together like so. So I can just fold it back up like that. <sighs> Ah, ah, glue was stuck. It's so cold out, guys. It's so cold. Okay, we'll just fill it nice and full, like so. You can see that. And just close it up. And so you can see there's lots of glue in that joint. Should be nice. Let's get a little more in there, huh? Let's just, let's just make sure. Okay, so now that's closed. I'm going to put another piece of red tape on this just to hold it together overnight. And there we go. That's a glued joint ready to tear apart tomorrow. The cyanoacrylate ones are much easier. All I have to do is just spray the accelerator on one side, put this glue on the other, put them together. Voila! And so you can see why it's gaining popularity. It's just so easy to assemble casings this way. But I do wonder how strong it is and how strong it stays long term. So I'm going to get all of these glued up and then, you know, we'll rip them apart tomorrow. Like I keep saying. Anyways, I'm still waiting for this one to set. And I'm not filibustering it good enough in the meantime. Okay. There's one, and let's just do one of these uh, one of these pine miters with the Starbond stuff. I haven't tried pine with any of this stuff yet. I'm really interested to see if there's any difference. I'm gonna give it three beads of glue, one in the outside, one in the center, and one on the other outside. There's two outsides. So this is quite simple too. Line them up, push them together, there we go. There might even be an easier way to do that. That's just one of the first times I've tried to do it. All right, you guys don't need to see me glue everything up. I'm gonna glue all this stuff up and then we'll break it apart tomorrow. It's been more than a few days, so that's a good thing. We've got lots of time for the wood glue to really cure. It's not wet at all. Um, why don't I bring you guys up closer and we'll start breaking these apart. Now, unfortunately, the only one that didn't work was my regular MDF baseboard one. I accidentally pulled the tape too tight that way and it left it open at the front so there wasn't any glue in that joint. So we can't test the baseboard one. But we still have the cyanoacrylate baseboard one. Anyways, let's get up closer here. Okay, so I've got them in groups of twos. Seeing as how the first baseboard is broken, let's go with the cyanoacrylate baseboard and see how hard it is to break this apart. Yeah, I can hear it going. I can hear the MDF shearing. It's pretty strong though, but let's actually put a bit of force into that. I'm gonna go the other way. Okay, that was pretty easy. And we can see, you know, it pulled a little bit of the MDF off, but not that much. Now that really wasn't all that strong. I really wish I had the wood glue one to test. 
but at least we've got all these other ones. Okay, cyanoacrylate on finger joint pine. So this is wood, and I've always thought that maybe it can't soak in well enough into regular wood instead of MDF. Let's see. Oh, okay, that's strong. Uh, that's pretty strong, actually. All right, I'm gonna give it a real brief now. That was really strong. You can clearly see that, I mean, it can't really fuse the wood together. But look at that, it broke that piece right off. There was part of a joint there, but still, that was hard. I had to pull really hard. Okay, regular wood glue. As you can see, I've got the glue coming out that side, and it was a tiny bit open at the front, so, uh-oh. Hopefully, this isn't a weak joint as well. Okay, just trying like that, it's pretty darn strong. All right, I can hear it going. I'm gonna pull the other way though, so I don't pinch my hands. Ugh. That's hard. That was a tiny bit harder, but really not much. I would say the, the CA glue is basically as strong as that. Okay, next, casing like miters. All right, here's a regular wood one. So I don't know if this is gonna be hard to break or not, but there's a lot of glue in there. It's tight, so. Anyways, that's hard. No way I can pull it apart like that. Absolutely not. Okay, okay. That wasn't too hard. Not too hard at all, but it was definitely a well glued joint. Okay, how about the CA glue one? Let's see how that one holds. Whoa, okay, that was really easy. So that was the pine. Um, yeah, that came apart really easy, way easier than the regular wood glue. Okay, next we've got the MDF. So MDF with regular wood glue, casing joint. I'm gonna go lightly at first, really easy. Yeah, not a big surprise. Bit of a starved joint there though. You can see there's some spots where there wasn't glue. But I did this in a way that wasn't gonna be like, normally when I'll glue a casing sometimes, I'll let the glue sit here for a while. You know, like five, 10 seconds, let it really soak in on both sides before I actually close it up so that it gets a way stronger bond. But in this case, when I've seen most people doing carpentry, I see them just kind of put a bead of glue in here put it together and then just nail it shut. And so I wanted to do a really accurate way, like the way most people are gonna do it. And that comes apart pretty darn easy. The casing though, or the pine was really hard to take apart though. That was tough. Okay, CA glue on MDF, like a regular old casing. Oh, that feels too easy. Now one thing I will say, is the CA glue really went right into this. Like it's pulling off the baseboard, if you guys can see that. You know, it pulled some of this right out of there. So it's hard, and I'd say it's definitely adequate, but neither of them I was particularly happy with. I was actually pretty bummed that that first wood glue baseboard joint wasn't glued strong enough, so I redid that. And um, this one has only been sitting for about four hours. Now I've put it under heat, which actually might even make the glue even more brittle. But either way, I just wanted to see how good this stuff works because this is one of the joints I was expecting to be pretty darn good. Oh, yes. Okay, all right. Look at that, you guys. After only four hours, this is what happens to an MDF wood glue joint. This is the tight bond, just wood glue, no drip, no run, made for trim. Like, look at that. That is a well glued joint. Okay, needless to say, I am impressed with that one. As I expected, the wood glue is stronger than every other part of the MDF. And that's been my experience when trying to break apart wood glue joints. There is also one other aspect I would like to talk about between these two glues. So I do really find the cyanoacrylate glues to be very convenient. 
However, I do have to wonder, like, what is the cost environmentally, like the footprint of producing this stuff, you know, all these aerosols and all this chemicals versus just good old fashioned wood glue and a little bit of patience, you know, I gotta wonder what is the actual cost? Because yes, it's efficient and we're moving quickly. Sometimes the good old fashioned way can be a lot lighter on the earth. So, you know, that matters to me anyways. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna use it sometimes. I really do like doing casings this way, but I don't think I have any need to do baseboards that way. So as for, do I think that the cyanoacrylates are adequate? Yeah, I was pretty happy and pretty impressed with how they broke out, but I think one of the real disadvantages is that you can't put as much glue with a CA joint. Because the problem is when the CA glue spills out, it's like super hard and you can't wipe it up with a cloth. You have to like scrape or sand it off. It's not like a water-based glue that you can just wipe off with a wet rag and you're done. So I think for that reason, it's harder to get a really well glued joint. I think if you really laid enough in there, you might be able to get pretty similar results. But under regular working conditions, it just doesn't work out that way. Who am I kidding? Now I wanna try another one with the 2P10. Let's try and get a lot of glue on this one. Oh, you guys can't see that. All right, we're gonna glue the crap out of this one. That's way too much glue. Ah, it's dripping all over the place. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's give that a little while to cure. All right. Been a few minutes now, and it was oozing out this side. I even sprayed the accelerator on this inside. So let's see how strong it is. Oh, that's pretty good too. Huh, well geez, I wish I filmed that before I filmed the outro, because my opinion changed a little bit. I think the CA glue in impractical conditions is actually really strong, but I would never be able to put that much glue pouring out of the outside of it if I was actually doing like a regular trim joint because I'd just make a huge mess and have all this glue to clean off. But in terms of actually just being strong, I'd say it's pretty darn strong. But in terms of being practical, it's not as practical to make that strong under regular working conditions. Anyways, now we're gonna get back to a bunch of the things I said because I don't feel like filming the outro again. So sorry if I contradict myself. But again, as we can see, I don't think anything's really gonna be a well done wood glue joint. Anyways, that's enough talking about stuff. Um, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I hope you guys got something out of this totally anecdotal, me gluey, breaky stuff video. Um, that's it, that's all I have to say, you know? If you weren't happy with that, go nerd out on some other dude that did a bunch of stuff with glues and woods. Guess I just wasn't your guy for that. Anyways, till the next one.